hello guys i hope you're all doing well so in this video i'm going to be showing you the tools that you need as a beginner either beginner makeup artist or just a beginner in the makeup game as you can see you need a razor blade or anything that you'll be using to remove or shape your eyebrows the other thing that you need is an eyebrow pencil or eyebrow gel yes or an eyebrow gel that you'll be using to line and fill in your eyebrows depending the shape of your eyebrows guys so i'm a youtuber based in zambia i'm a youtuber and my name is rachel i hope you enjoy this video and let me know if i've left out anything in this video that you would like me to add or just anything whenever I'm doing my makeup so yeah so you're filling your eyebrows using the eyebrow pencil or the eyebrow gel so eyebrows take the longest and those are the two things that I use after an eyebrow pencil you need a spoolie or that comb like thing yes or a spoolie i'm sure most people who are into makeup know what a spoolie is so you need that to clean up your eyebrows and to put the hairs in shape yes and also need a flat brush to clean your eyebrows with concealer a flat one or an angled brush but i prefer use a flat one especially for beginners because i still find difficulties using an angled brush even up to now so yeah and you also need concealer depending with your shade or the shade of whoever so you need a concealer that is a bit lighter than your skin tone So a concealer is used to clean up your eyebrows in case you made any mistake or anything. That's what it's used for. Yeah, and as I was saying, eyebrows take the longest, so you need to take your time as you're doing your eyebrows perfect eyebrows means perfect makeup so yeah just do your thing it may take time for me it took me about 15 minutes yeah because only the eyebrow video was 15 minutes so if you're a beginner it might take you even more and you also need a clean brush a bit bigger one doesn't matter the shape or even a beauty blender clean up the concealer so as to avoid harsh lines or creasing of the concealer so for cleaning the top part of the eyebrows you need either a foundation or a concealer that is a bit darker than your skin tone or that is your skin tone for me i'm using the foundation that i use even though this foundation has a whitish finish so yeah I'm using the foundation for the top part so that it will be easy for me to blend. Yeah, and for cleaning if you don't have a brush especially if you're a beginner you can simply use your hands this step is not necessary but i was just using the concealer that was left on the brush to clean the front part of my eyebrows because they were too dark for my liking so yeah using that same concealer that i used to clean the down part of my eyebrows i'll use it for my eyelids before I start applying eyeshadow 
so now the next thing that you need is eyeshadow as a beginner either a small palette or a big palette depending with what you can afford so yeah i'm going to be showing you the colors that i used so use something especially for a beginner something brownish start with playing with a bit dark colors So those were the two colors that I used for my eyeshadow for it to become like that then for the end parts I used that black there he wanted them to be, be black so the main thing here is that you need eyeshadow then after that we're going to use that color and I do not do a cut crease using the concealer or anything I just used these same colors especially if you're a beginner you will need to go this way but if you'd like to try the cut crease then that is fine then the next thing that you need is either a beauty blender or a foundation brush but for me I try using a beauty blender you use a damn beauty blender you dip it in water squeeze the excess water and you can use it to apply your foundation and don't use too much foundation especially if you're a beginner just use little by little and add more where need arise so for highlighting i'm using that same concealer i use for my down for the down part of my eyebrows to highlight my under eyes my chin and my forehead and i'm using those two powders so the whole point is that you need powder or a highlight and contour palette for me that's what i use and i think it's much affordable especially if you're a beginner makeup artist just buy even one or two powder palettes that will be enough for different kinds of skin tones and if you think that you've over highlighted you can use the darker the darker powder to on the areas that you highlighted yes you can use the darker powder on the areas that you highlighted to Turn down with the light powder then I'm just um, what's this contouring my nose right there is in the darker powder um, yeah. and use a clean brush to clean out after lining then that is blush you can use if you want you can use if you don't want you can skip this part is not that necessary so i'm contouring because the one i used i felt it wasn't dark enough yeah so i'm sure the whole point is you need powder and you can apply it to how you prefer so we started with the uh, razor blade, eyebrow pencil, spoolie, eyeshadow, powder and yeah now I did the eyeliner and mascara there and I was just highlighting my pipi so yeah from eyeliner and mascara I also need lipstick and eyelashes if you prefer
and lip gloss especially if you're a beginner makeup artist because there are people who don't like bright colors and also a finishing spray and that is my final look there thank you guys for watching bye